Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Bray Wyatt figure. A really, really awesome representation of the new face of fear. One of my favorite current WWE wrestlers. This, of course, is the second release Bray Wyatt figure uh, with the updated face scan. Uh, the first one's not a bad figure, but uh, this one's just a huge improvement. Uh, so very excited to get this guy opened up. On the top left, of course, we see a great shot of Bray Wyatt, which is pretty cool. Just for comparison here, I've got the first edition Bray Wyatt figure. You can see massive difference in the faces and also the picture. <laughs> a really happy Bray Wyatt uh, in the first time in the line Mattel figure. But uh, yeah, let's get this guy opened up. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, other figures in the set, of course, Daniel Bryan, Santino Morella, Cesaro, which is a pretty cool figure, Drew McIntyre, and Fandango. So, nice shot of Bray Wyatt on the back there, and let's get this guy opened up. Okay, and here we have Bray Wyatt out of the packaging, and he is an extremely cool figure. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the detail on the face. They absolutely nailed the, the face scan there. Great detail throughout this guy, even on the hair. Really, really cool. If you haven't had a chance yet, check out my Daniel Bryan figure review. What they've done here is what they should have done with Daniel Bryan, where they've had a normal face scan uh, or face mold, and then they've added the hair to it, as opposed to having an all brown face and then spray painting the, the skin tone. So good job on Mattel with the Bray White. Lots of nice details on the tattoos. Which is really cool, especially to it's very rare in a uh, basic figure that they actually colour the tats. So, uh, really nice that they've gone to the, the effort there. The only thing missing, and I guess it's maybe because it's a, um, a kid's figure, is the only thing I can think of, is that the red streak uh, is missing down the arm. But uh, otherwise, lots of really, really nice detail on this guy. In terms of articulation, he's got the exact same as the standard basic figures, so ball-jointed head which isn't limited by the hair, which is good. Obviously, ball-jointed arms, bend at the elbow, and then standard wrist, waist, knee, and leg articulation. So pretty cool. And the feet as well, which aren't limited uh, by the pants. So that's really, really awesome. If you're a fan of Bray Wyatt, you're a fan of the Wyatt family, then absolutely this guy is a must-have. There have been um, subsequent releases of Bray Wyatt. This is probably his most common attire, uh, and what he's wrestled in um, on Raw and SmackDown. Um, but they have released what he has uh, for the pay-per-views, which obviously has the graffiti writing on the chest. But uh, absolutely great figure, highly recommended, and well worth picking up. 